Happy holidays, mis amigos. It's Paul Saucedo and the Saucedo Slant. It is what they call the dead week. That's right, the weekend in between Christmas and New Year's. But it's not dead, man. Especially during the weekend, there's so much to talk about. And that's how we're doing today on the Slant. We already posted a lot of... Uh, our texts and uh, songs for the weekend to do, things to do for the weekend, uh, whether you're in Los Angeles, Austin, or in Houston. What I did is I got a couple of um, good uh, buddies in the music scene that are definitely talented people with great taste. Uh, Mexican Dubweiser from Los Angeles by way of Monterrey, Mexico. Y también Edson uh, Sanchez from Houston. Was a DJ and writer for uh, rockinhouston.com. So we're going to get to their picks later on, but I got a couple of things to let you guys know about as we move on with the slant. Uh, we have pages now on MySpace and Facebook. Uh, probably over uh, 70 friends on MySpace already and Facebook. Uh, we just started today, so we got like over 20 friends. So with MySpace, it's just all the archive of the videos, and um, so you can watch them all, you know, anytime you want if you guys find that exciting <laughs> and on uh, Facebook we're gonna try to be a little bit more interactive as I found out that most of uh, our hits lately have been from uh, from my Facebook posts so what we're gonna try to do with that page is uh, maybe get some contests going get some giveaways going but also get some topics and uh, throw them up there so uh, people can chime in and then maybe eventually get some guest uh, people maybe like Edson or Marcelo in the future to do some guest vlogging and then uh, we can put it here on the Saucedo slant boom okay um, so maybe one of the first things that we can do maybe I'll throw up a couple of uh, topics is still trying to get more responses from the Che Guevara um, post that I did I'm gonna repost it it's basically um, a video where it talks about Che Guevara's um, Hollywood sick love affair with Che Guevara kind of making him uh, more of a romantic figure than what he should be. Do you believe in that or don't you? Hillen or villain? Excuse me, Hillen. Hero or villain? Che Guevara. So uh, I want to get everyone's responses. I only got like a couple. And a couple is not enough when I've sent out dozens and dozens of, uh, of uh, messages. So you out there, send me your, your responses. So maybe I'll put that up on Facebook. Um, this, yesterday on Christmas Day, by the way, Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you guys had a good time. I was uh, driving to, or was it from, doesn't matter, I was driving uh, to my friend's house. I had a great time with uh, my friend and his family, all Colombians, all crazy. And I lost so much playing cards, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I was listening to KUT, and I believe it was uh, KUT. I can't tell you what time it was, but it was the song uh, that came up, Angels with Dirty Faces. And it's such a beautiful song. It's off the album Kiko. The artist is Los Lobos. But if you uh, look back, if you say, oh, man, you know, Angels with Dirty Faces, that sound has like a familiar, um, you know, you know, title. It, it's a 1938 gangster film with James Cagney and Pat O'Brien. And uh, it's, it's old school. It's a great story uh, about these two guys who grew up. Uh, but you should check it out yourself. So it's got a lot of influence, that title, that film. It's been uh, influenced and uh, referred to in like all the Home Alone movies, but also bands such as Sum 41, Sham 69, uh, Tricky, and Los Lobos have featured that title in, in their albums or their songs. So, um, you know, I thought I'd give you a little, you know, background to the song. So, you know, we'll get you a link to the song so you can listen to the song "Angels with Dirty Faces" and uh, maybe check out that old, that old movie from 1938. Wow. That's a long time ago. So that's great. Okay, so moving on for the weekend. Big thing going on tomorrow night, which is Saturday, the 27th, at Antone's. It's Gary Clark Jr., Bavu Blakes, and the extra players, DJs King Kofi and Lord Fry. It's this Saturday night. Bavu Blakes, one of Texas's premier hip-hop artists. Gary Clark Jr., one of the premier guitar players, blues guitar players and singers. Great singer, too. Uh... There is, period, and uh, they're getting together, one-two punch. Put a picture of them up on our um, on our slant. I hope to make it out there, but I want you guys to make it out there. If you're in Austin, it's a great thing to do tomorrow night. Okay, so we go to our uh, guest uh, personalities, 
and what they're listening to and what they're doing this weekend. From Los Angeles, Mexican Dubweiser, this is his playlist. You have what he's listening to, Chancha Via Cir Cir Circutio. Cir. <laughs> so bad. With cum Cumbia Malimbe. Now, when I looked it up, it was uh, spelled differently, but I assume it's the same song. It's a DJ, uh, and it's called cum It's either com called Cumbia Malimbe or Cumbia uh, Malambe or Malamba. It's on... Um, it's on the slant here. Check it out. Also, he's listening to Lightning Head featuring Blanquito Man, Preguntas Por Que, uh, DJ Vadim meets Paco Mendoza, uh, fo Frost for Forito, fo Frost Forito, Frost Forito, there you go, and uh, Son Machin, Mariachi, uh, Orcul, Orca. So you're getting like, you know, this is me learning like Spanish. This is how bad I am. Oraculo. <laughs> Those are his choices. Now we go to Houston with writer DJ Edson Sanchez. This weekend, his playlist Tom York, uh, Vetusta, Morla, Niños, Mu Niños Mutantes, Pixies, Cascabian, God, I'm so bad this morning, Patufu, Velvet Underground, Serati, Gustavo Serati, Babasonicos, Nacho v Vegas, Rhinoceros, and Jovenes y Sexies. Now I got to listen uh, to. One of those, Vetusta Morla, and these guys are from Spain, and we put up a great link on there. You're right, Edson. It is a really, they are a really cool band. Uh, we also put up some songs, The Pixies, Where's My Mind, Gustavo Cerate Puente. Uh, what is Edson doing this weekend? Tonight, he's going to be checking out the movie, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. So I want to get your review on that, Edson. Uh, so why don't you post it in our Facebook groups, all right? Uh, I've heard mixed things. So, you know, I know I, I heard it's a long movie. He's also Saturday night in Houston, going to be hanging out at Aztecas for Sabados Roqueros, hosted by Rock in Houston. We have the plug. We have the, uh, the link right there, rockinhouston.com. And that is what um, Edson and Mexican DJ Dubweiser is listening to. Other songs I put on there, PPT, When We Was Cool, The Pixies, Here Comes Your Man, Tribe Called Quest, Electric Relaxation, Sidestepper, Deja. The Spanish word of the day is the Spanglish word of the day, and it is watchar. The verb, watchar. It means to look out, to be careful. I'll see you later. So it's like, hey dude, there's some broken glass on the floor, watchale. Or I'll see you later. I te watcho. <laughs> and no, it's not, you know, what's the time? Let me look at my watchar. It doesn't work. So I te watcho. You get that a lot. I'll see you later. Or watchale. If you have any fun antidotes, lines, suggestions with watchar, your Spanglish word of the day, put them on the Facebook book, uh, Facebook uh, post. Email us, thesalcitoslant.com at gmail. The Sacito Slant at gmail.com. All that good stuff. All that good music. All those inf all that information we just have for you. It's on the slant right now as we speak. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, checking us out. Uh, for the last couple of months, we've been growing actually each and every week. And I really appreciate it. And we're getting close to the new year. And there's going to be some great things for 2009. Not just for the slant, but for all you guys tuning in. All right. This is Paul at the Watcho. This is a test, okay? So don't judge. 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 Contemplate on the mic while I speak My great reasons for my trade have always starting to delay I